you so much for having me. It's a real blessing to be here. It's such a blessing to be here. Just coming here, even for a few moments, you can feel the greatest peace. And all your problems can be totally solved. Because he solves all of them for you. And it's just a case of, of listening to it or realizing that he's there for you, that the guru is totally, totally there for you. And if you ask anything of him, he'll give it to you. But sometimes we don't realize what he's giving us. Like sometimes we have a list of things that we think will make us happy. Like I want to be rich or I want this or I need that. And often it's the things on that list that make us unhappy. And sometimes Guru's trying to teach us something by maybe not giving us the things that we think will make us happy because he's trying to help us realize what makes us happy. And coming here, just coming here and bowing your head can completely transform your life. I remember when I first bowed my head. It felt like the first time I bowed my head, because when you bow your head, and this is worth being conscious of, when you bow your head, you're, you're merging with the guru. And do you know how many, how many good things you've had to have done? You're all amazing good people. You know, you could, you're all saints pretty much, to be able to bow your head just one time at the guru's feet. Like quite often, we, some people forget how alive and how he's totally present, 100% present. Sometimes we see saints in India or very holy men and, and people go a bit crazy and they just want to touch those feet. Every time you come here, you bow your head at those feet and he, he completely put, blesses you. And it's worth meditating because then you develop that a sensitivity. We all have to develop a sensitivity and a subtlety because sometimes we can't feel it. I felt nothing. I thought you, you guys, all you Sikh people were nuts. Really, I was like, I was like, they've drunk the Kool-Aid. You know, these people who go around thinking there's a live person there. I didn't understand. I really didn't understand. But I sat around and I meditated and my sensitivity develops, so it's worth practicing. And now, I walk into any room where there's a guru, and it's like the whole world lights up. The ho like, it's a, you become enlightened just by, just by being here. It's amazing, totally amazing. All right, is everyone happy? Today is a sunny day. Okay, I want us to talk about, a little bit, about going from darkness to light or small things that other people have taught me, or just little things from my own observation have helped me on my journey. And it's been an interesting trip. I, I have easily say that I've been through, it might not look like it, but I've definitely been through some dark times. Uh, you always have to look for what's positive. No matter what's happening in your life, a Sikh should be able to always say, why Guru? No matter what is happening, and mean it, and totally mean it from their heart, you end up in prison, let's say. Everything is energy. So it's so important to be, everything that happens to you, there's a positive and a negative, and you always have to choose the positive. So let's suppose, uh, my husband's brilliant at this, I'd like to say, and I've learned a lot from him. Let's suppose, I don't know, you get a parking ticket. He, he's someone who has the ability to go, oh my darling, this is great. This is, we are paying some karma here. It's a real blessing. This is an opportunity uh, to pay some karma. Guru has totally blessed us. And I go, yes, yes, it's a, it's, what a blessing we have a parking ticket. You know, because if you start like uh, blessing everything that comes into your life, your whole life becomes blessed. So let's suppose you, you live in a sort of not very nice house, you know, you, if you say, oh my goodness, uh, 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 why are you, and you sort of say, these are, God gave me these floors, he gave me these floors and blessed these floors, this is a beautiful house, very soon, and I can guarantee this, 
Ibiru will move you into a house where the floors are beautiful. Or your own floors will become beautiful. So that's really important. Whatever happens to you, totally bless it and be grateful for it. And it's the same with money. You know, the fastest way, if you're in any poverty situation, the fastest way to uh, uplift out of it is to be totally grateful. If somebody gives you, you know, 10p, why oh, bless you, thank you so much. You know, because like attracts like. And everyone, everyone likes, uh, as, as, uh, as Sikhs, you know, you look like holy people. Guru gave you a dress, so you're walking around looking like a holy person, you know? Like, people want to know who you are. So you've got to kind of, like, look like a holy person. Because people naturally, if they're looking for, if they've got a question in their life, how am I going to be happy, I'm depressed, or they're looking for God, or anything like that, you've got a f flag flying over your head that says, you know, maybe that person has the answer. You know, and I like to say also, ladies, you're naturally intuitive and so divine. You also have to look like holy divine beings. You know, like wearing a, I'll say this, wearing your hair up, wearing your hair in a damala, well, first of all, it will make you happier because it naturally pulls you up. And it also is a protection, a protection from, say, a negativity coming on the outside. And also it keeps you together. You know when they say, uh, you know, I can keep my head together. That's what it does. It keeps your head together. So you should totally try that. The other thing is, is having an awareness of what your mind is doing and using the Guru's words to help you. Because he's his words, if you use his words all the time, or at any single moment, trans and it, it brings enlightenment. So let's suppose you walk into a, a meeting with somebody and you have a negative feeling from them. It might be your negative feeling, it might be their negative feeling, doesn't really matter. But chant, chant inside your head. And the relief the other person will feel is extraordinary. They will love you forever. Same with you. If you hadn't, if you changed the channel from having a negativity in your mind to a positivity in your mind, you're going to feel so much better, so much better. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try this now because I can see I can listen to some people thinking things. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to chant, and this is a very very good Mangala chant from Sukmani that protects your mind. So if you ever need protection, I need it a lot. I can be really negative. I go, oh my goodness, I now have to go and talk to you know loads of people who are going to have opinions and think things. You know, I need it as much as everyone else. More, more so. Okay, so we're all going to help each other out here. Okay, everybody sing, sing from their hearts. Close your eyes and sing.
doesn't everyone now feel a lot better? Like immediately, immediately, you feel a lot better. So you want to do that a few times a day. And you can do it while you're walking, before you talk to anybody. Really, because you want them to have an experience of the guru in you. And his words, by having his words come through you, everyone that you meet might be touched by that. Someone could meet you and they could remember who Guru Gogan Singh is. Just one second and they were, it's like an invisible thing. It stays with you, it's in your aura. So you can say hello to somebody in a shop. This, I've seen this happen. You could say hello to somebody in a shop. Just the sound of your voice, because it's been saying sacred words, can put someone on their path and help somebody reach their destiny. And everything that you say can make your life very happy and also everybody's life very happy. And anything that you're going through is kind of irrelevant. You just have to be happy. Because it's all unstable. You can be rich. And I know this because it's happened to me. I've been really rich. That was fun. I've also been really poor. Like, I didn't know where my, my next check was coming from. And I had no money. And I was not really employable at the time. So it's all completely unstable. It can all go in a second. And your job is to just enjoy it. Totally enjoy it. And be happy. And use, use what Guru's given you to be happy. Thank you. And you know, do you know why we say, well, when you're saying your Barney's, it puts the Guru on your tongue. So your words become beautiful. When you're speaking, so everything that you say should be completely beautiful and charming and graceful and completely divine. If your language becomes like that, the word, the power of the word, you know the most powerful thing you can do is, is make your language completely beautiful and a blessing to everyone that you speak to. Every time you open your mouth, be, try and be conscious to make it divine. Because everything around you, everything that you touch, becomes also completely divine. And you've got to ask yourself, like, what are you looking for in your life? Like, what are you looking for? If you're looking for happiness, like, who is the happiest person? The happiest person is the person who makes everybody else happy. <coughs> really. And you can see it, if you want to, you can do an experiment with yourself. I love experiments. I go around and I look around and I see, oh, that person's really happy. Now, what are they doing? And I listen to them. And normally, you'll find that people walking around with a big smile on their face are making other people happy. And it's the same thing. I, I used to, I started a couple of companies. And I used to work with like millionaires who had like you know three private jets and things like that. And talking to these people, it's really interesting. The richest people are normally the most generous people because they've got they they have no fear and they, that flow is open. So even if you're in a situation where you think you can't give, give anyway. Anything that you can, you know, bake a cake, give somebody a flower, just give, give, give as much as you can because it opens a flow, and that flow will start coming through you. Guru said all these things, but sometimes, uh, I don't know, I needed help, I needed other people to explain it to me. I was like, can you explain that? Why? Why does he say that? Why do you have to give? Like, I wanted to know all these things. So I'm explaining it the way that helped me, when, and then I did an experiment. I was like, okay, I'm gonna give all my stuff away, or whatever it was. And I found that it totally transformed my life. So, Try that. Try being like, you know, one of these. Uh, it'll open wealth in your life that's unexpected, you didn't know you had. Start giving. 
and give as much as you possibly can because it, it'll open the door for more to flow through you. And you'll also find that you don't need all the things that you think you need. Have a look at what you need. Think what you need and what you have. You already have everything that you need. All the other stuff you don't, you don't really need. And it's also very clarifying too. You already have what you need. Like meditate on that. Recently, I've because uh, I'm moving countries, I'm moving to India. I've been clearing out my wardrobes. It's the best thing ever. I was like, now I will be like, <sighs> you know, Barna, it's the best thing. It's so relaxing. I spent far too much time uh, deciding what I was going to wear and what color and how and I really want that purple dress, whatever it was. Now I don't have to do that anymore. And the time it gives me, it's completely, like I, I felt like I was, and it's, it was an insecurity too. And the guru gave me a security, he gave me his dress. Now I have nothing to worry about. It's the most, ladies, you have to try this. It's the most, wearing barna is the most relaxing thing you can get. And I mean like proper barna, not some sort of deviation with sort of star spangles on it. Pure barna, because it'll completely purify uh, you. It'll totally purify you. If your dress becomes pure, you become pure. And it's liberating. Just think about this, your, 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 the financial men to encourage your women and you. Uh, you know, you don't have to spend any money on it. You can look totally beautiful. And it gives you a security. Like a lot of the reason we dress or wear makeup because we're hiding from something. If you don't have to hide anymore, and, and a security, a, a deep security, if, imagine if you felt really confident. I used to always feel really nervous. I used to go to parties and things like that. And what was I going to wear? If that insecurity leaves you, think how liberated you'd be. And it's a trust too. If, he, if you trust the guru and give your head to the guru, he, he gives you his confidence and his stability. Which is, imagine that. Imagine that. Imagine being able, you leave, you leave your house and he has given you, you re realize how much he loves you. So you don't have to look from love from outside places because it's inside you. And you will start becoming more beautiful. It's really true. And also, I'd also like to say that the, one of the biggest beauty treatments this is a bit of a naughty thing I'm going to tell you because I know, but it's still, it's a good observation, it's a sideline. Chanting will make you beautiful. Like, it, yes, it's a, it's a divine, spiritual thing, but at the same time, you know, if you're wearing eyeliner or extra makeup, don't bother. Do you know what the best makeup is? The best, best makeup is chanting and singing and saying your varnies. If you look, look at any woman, uh, I can see one there, uh, she's very clearly saying her barnies because she's the, her skin is the best in the room, you know, and and that's the best beauty treatment if you're a woman that you can do. If you think if you think doing a barnies with someone else, no, no, it's for you. It's for you. Like he's given you everything. You don't you don't need all this extra stuff. Try it. Try it as an experiment. You know, even if it's just for a vanity thing. Like let's suppose. It, that's, you know, it's something you're working with. I can't wear barn, I could never, uh, you know, stop wearing all my makeup, all that stuff. At least try the alternative. At least try it and see, and start to see, see what happens to you. That's the thing I said. Oh yeah, gentleness. Be kind to yourself. Be really, really, really kind to yourself and be really, really kind to other people. Kindness is the most powerful thing there is. The bravest people, you know, who the, your warriors, your pure, pure, pure warriors, your spiritual warriors. If you were looking for spirituality and 
and with the worry in this. This is where it is. And the bravest people are the people who are brave enough to be open-hearted, people who are brave enough to be kind, people who are, have the courage, have the total courage to go that extra mile to love somebody that's not lovable, to be really kind to people who are rude and crude. Because I had this experience at an airport. And there was this lady, and she was a very aggressive lady. And I thought, oh my goodness, I have to uh, now have a, a pat down, you know, when they pat you down at the airport, with this lady who's like a butcher, you know, totally crude butcher at the airport. And I was a bit scared. I did not want to be manhandled uh, by this lady who had a minor uh, anger problem. Anyway, so I was like, okay, how am I going to get through this? And I said to her, I thought, okay, I'm just going to do my best because maybe she's like that because nobody loved her. I was like, I'm going to look for what's positive in this situation. I was like, okay, she's like that because nobody loved her. So I said to her, I go, um, I go, you know, like, thank you so much, like this. And I was really nice to her. I sort of melted her. And you know what? Because nobody had been nice to this lady, because she's not the kind of person people feel in, was, would feel inspired to be uh, gentle with or kind with, uh, she completely transformed in a second. It was like somebody had been in a desert, an emotional desert, for their entire life. And I come along, and all I'd said was thank you, or you look beautiful, or something like that. And it's like tears came into her eyes, you know. It was like, it was like and then she, 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 and it worked for me. I was very happy with this solution because she then patted me down with such gentleness and sweetness that my day was so much better. So if you come across somebody, you don't know what's going to happen. Like, go that extra mile to be kind to them, because they might be completely, they, you know, all their walls might fall away, and also they, might, they, want, they want to know who you are. They'll go, who is that person? And you can say, you know, uh, you know where I learned this from? I learned this from my guru. And they will say, who is your guru? And then you can tell them. Isn't that cool? You don't know. So that's very important. And in the way that you worship, make it like devotional. I used to pray a lot for this because I felt like I was like an elephant, completely undevotional. And I used to say, please help me be devotional. And it, it, like if you're not feeling it, you can use it to your advantage. Let's suppose you come to the Gurdwara and nothing happens to you, but you're watching the lady next to you and she's like, oh. The God's in my heart. And you're like, what's happening with her? You know, if nothing's happening to you, pray for it. You can pray for it. You can come and you can stand in front of the Guru and you can say, Guru, please help me. I don't, I can't feel you in my heart. Please help me feel, please help me feel your love. And he, miracles will happen. And if you ask him like that, I used to do that a lot. I used to go, I have no devotion. I don't even know if you're real. What shall I do? All these things. I used to come with like a shopping list of problems. So I was like, okay, uh, you know, and, and you know, he listened. He totally to 100% listened. And you know, if you say, if you come to him, uh, and talk with your heart and say, I'm, you know, I'm a, please really help me with my sensitivity. Because when I come to the Gurdwara, I don't know that you're really there. And I really want you to be really there because I love you so much. He will appear, he will appear for you. So do that. Because he's true. You know when it says that he's true, he is. So meditate on his trueness. <coughs> this is a good thing to sing. On his reality and how real and how true and how present he is.
in your life. with your whole heart because he's going to come in your life divine in your life. Thank you so much. Why Guti Kaka Sir? Why Guti Fatu?